Hey, it's Michael Lipinski again. I know I've been away for a while. I've been out um, in the field playing flicker. Uh, anyway, so back, we uh, said, or at least I said, that I'd like to get into the MP systems, some of the classifications. I know that uh, I let you know that I uh, had some articulation done, uh, so I'm going to have to get adjusted to that. Bear with me. It's going to be a, a long process, I'm sure. But I'm really good to get into this, and I was thinking about it prior to getting started, and I said to myself, prudence dictates that I do indeed reiterate some of the things that we discussed way early on in the architectural realm of it, and, uh, you know, the expectations. It used to be the low-hanging fruit, BIM, right? But now it's expected to be seen and, and validated within the build environment in the field. And uh, these are the owners demand it. And there's a lot of money involved, right? And the problem with that is, I smoke. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. The smoke eaters are all on. I probably won't come, I won't be at the topping out party. But I smoke. So every man has his vice, some don't, you know. I do. At least I do now, you know. And I have my reasons. In any event. Let's, enough about me. Let's talk about you. There's so much to get to. There's so much to get to. But, and there's so many players involved. And I feel that I fit in in a certain aspect. Um, but let's just, just say <laughs> that uh, I'm not going to the top and out party. For sake of argument. Right? What do I know? I know that someday, you know, um, the owner's going to uh, either accept or deny the plan. And, uh, and they're going to proceed. And everything's going to uh, hopefully go according to plan. But along that route, what has to get done? Well, first of all, all the experts that are doing it right now you need to continue doing it that way, right? But, you know, all the way back here, you know, the ones that are all the way back here that you forget about, that maybe this may be a little bit too complicated for them, they just not, they can be left by the wayside, right? And if it's local three, chances are that they'll be by the wayside. You know what I mean, man. Don't be, I'm not even gonna let you, I'm not even gonna tell you what I found out today about that organization, crooks. I'll, I'll leave it at this. The employee protection plan? I'm just curious how many employees, all these self-professed contributing contractors, are going to protect? Because I'll, I'll tell you one thing. For the last 20 fucking years, I haven't been one of them. I don't expect to be one going forward. It's par for the course over there. In any event, don't get me started. This is, I'm supposed to debut professional. But again, uh, let's leave all that behind. It's Bush League anyway, right? It's Bush League. It's rise above all that shit. We're not electricians. Project teams, disciplines. Internal quality assurance, quality control, owner's representative. Contract, contract, BIM governance. Contract project execution, or the BIM administration, receiving mod submitted models, level detail levels, right? Conduct uh, or conduct the quality assurance QC of the models. Generate pass fails and compliance reports. And, and as you can see, as you go through this flow chart, you'll see that there's a process. And that process is going to lead you down the road to a successful process if it's implemented correctly. And with anything that's time tested, um, you'll find that uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, Big Brother's always watching. You know, we have to mind our P's and Q's. But I brought up AutoCAD because as I drew it in AutoCAD, I thought it would be a good place to start. But we're talking about Reddit. We're talking about Reddit, right? We're talking about Reddit. We're talking about Reddit MP systems. Now, I have a 
2020.2 version, but I'm going off of a text written by a, a gentleman by the name of Simon Whitbread. <laughs> Whip it. Maybe fictional. Whitbread. The E is silent. There's no E in it. Whitbread. Simon Whitbread, Enterprise Priority Revit Specialist at Autodesk, started using Revit at release 5.1. He has over 30 years of experience in the building services and architectural industry. Since the early 1990s, he has been involved in developing and managing CAD and IT systems. He moved to New Zealand in 2002, where he held the implementation of Revit architecture at Jazzmax, one of New Zealand's leading architectural practices. More recently, he has been providing implementation support and training services for AutoCAD and the Revit suite of programs to companies in Australia, Dubai, Indonesia, New Zealand, Singapore, and the United States. Now living in the United Kingdom, Simon enjoys spending time with his family, is a frequent speaker at Autodesk University and Revit Technology Conference, RTC events. He uh, is also a member of Orgy and sometimes finds uh, the odd moment uh, for Twitter and Facebook. That's about Simon. He's the author. I'm not. There are plenty of authors. I'm going to read it verbatim the best I can in the time constraints that I have. I'm doing this on my own dime. In the event that my kids say, you know what, maybe Dad wasn't as nuts as everyone said, and maybe we can learn something from this and make some money down the road, as opposed to, you know, mopping floors, you know, for uh, $10 an hour and living in a miserable world of advent poverty, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I just want my kids to be poor. It's one of the main reasons I'm doing this. I don't want them to be poor. I have to live like refugees. And maybe when they hit their 30s or 20s and they rise up, maybe they'll say, okay, all right, let me read you some of this shit. Maybe some of it made sense. If not, then, you know, what am I going to do? I'd complain, but no one would listen. So let's look at the contents at a glance. What are we as a team, right? A team? Remember that word team? I go out in the streets lately. Hey, sure, I don't feel like it. As a team, I'm going to discuss contents at a glance. Introduction. General project setup, which will start part one. Chapter one, exploring user interface, which we did. But I believe this text is going to be in a more of an MAP sense. And I was sitting in a park earlier saying, you know what? Maybe I'll uh, just say I'm going to do all that and then not do it. Because I feel like maybe these people are trying to get ahead. And, you know, it's like this is NASCAR. And that's not collaboration. That's not collaboration. This is an art and a science. Not whoever dies with the most toys wins. In any event, or keeping up with the Joneses. Part one, general plot, or, or cutting people off at the hip. <laughs> you know, it's, it's none of those things. But sometimes it sure feels like that. It's a cutthroat business, right? Real estate. I don't want to be caught up in all that. I don't want to be caught up in all that. There's got to be a way to rise above all that. That uh, maliciousness. It's in the air. It's just in the air these days. And I, I've been out of the office for a while, and I'm, 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 I'm here with it. It's like all the way up to here. With the loud radios, and the cast to device, and the bells, and the whistles, and the top of the charts this, top of the charts that. Who's getting the most reviews? Who's getting the most plays? Who's downloaded the most? Yeah. Who's making the most money? Who gives a shit? Right? Who gives a shit? If you're happy, then fine. But if you're miserable, then does it really matter how much money you got? Right? Isn't that what it really comes down to in the end? And I'm getting caught up in it. Now I gotta, I gotta always center myself. Especially with this one, you get to a level where you feel like you're at least capable of doing it, and you know there's money in it, and you can make a decent amount of money on a decent living. You know, you, you always got to ring yourself back in and say, wait a second. 
remember what, how, how much it took to get you get yourself here. And then you, you see how many people how many people circumvented or tried to circumvent and push you back for, to retrieve achieve just a little piece of it. And not because of any other reason other than probably those seven things that they like to do, the seven deadly sins. And in any event, we're not going to get into that. We talked about that, right? Me going off on a tangent in theology. But general project setup, exploring the user interface, view filters and view templates. We have to reiterate that over and over again because those are so important. Especially if you're setting up your own little company, you want to get started, and you want to be able to uh, not waste your time, learn from the mistakes you made maybe, and keep that template, build on it, and keep it for your future staff so then the next generation of folks come in, we can have the temple for them to start, and then there's somebody that can go back, and then you can move them up, rank and file, right? Rank and file. At least in my mind, I don't know about how your mind works, because this is an educational assessment. Whether you like it or not, you can buzz around with my head all you want. I'm always keeping an eye out. Whether I got followers or I don't. Because when you put yourself out there, Chances are you do, chances are you don't. Chances are people don't like you. Chances are you do. Who gives a shit? Right? You don't like me? Come tell me you don't like me. Don't change the fucking channel. That's why I can you. It's buttons. Well, watch what you want. In any event. And stop steaming up my glasses. Exploring the user interface. You're looking at it. View filters, view templates, work sets and work sharing, project operation, which well, I haven't had a chance to do. It takes two to tango. Yeah. It takes two to tango. It'd be nice to have a work station set up or a series of workstations where I could actually Okay, it's updated on your machine. Okay. It's not. That's simple. Doesn't work like that in Mobile 3. Let's see. They have a headquarters. Exploring the user interface. Well, I tried that. That didn't work too well. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'll go off on a tangent if I, if, I, if I look for that word. Project collaboration. We'll see. Multi-platform interoperability working with 2D and 3D data. Parameters. Schedules. We talked about these a little bit, right? But I think, and I did browse through the text, it's going to be more than an MEP sense. Once I vent through roof on final, we'll get down to business. Mechanical design. Oh, and by the way, if anybody has any intents of playing fucking games over the fucking quick check, keep in mind, please do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Please, I'm begging you. Don't, no malicious sense to deal with that. Lots of uh, intrinsic value in that fucking store. Artifacts, if you know what I mean. Priceless. Multi-platform interoperability, working with 2D and 3D data, parameters, schedules, mechanical design. And this is gonna be a challenge for me. These tin knockers, they're good. That's all. They're really good. Just they're really good. It's thermodynamics. Everyone's gonna run into an educational barrier. And for those malicious fuck out there, I hope yours is sooner than mine. Actually, you know what? I don't. I hope you get better. Mechanical design, chapter eight, HVAC cooling and heating load analysis, creating logical systems. Sometimes that's not possible. It just shorts out all the time. Mechanical systems and ductwork and mechanical piping. Electrical design, lighting, power communications, circuiting and panels, plumbing, uh, domestic, sanitary, and other. Fire protection, which should be fantastic. I had jumped ahead to uh, chapter eight this afternoon. There's some fascinating, fascinating passages in there. But then I, I I, I have a problem, so I'm, I'm 51. I'm reading through it, and I'll be honest with you, I'm reading through this. And even though the words were very, very technical, I felt like I was reading a sport 
appropriate swimsuit edition. Managing content, solid modeling, creating symbols and annotations, creating equipment, chapter 20, creating light fixtures. <laughs> oh, Liam Mutaf and both. If I could go back to Italy, I swear those two girls. Oh boy, creating lighting fixtures, creating devices, details, sheets, fabrication, creating a project template, fire doors. The bottom line, my son wants to work for the Department of Defense. All right, I know, I'm all over the place. This guy's nuts. He's got memories. They're fresh. Contents. Introduction. Project setup. Now, I can read this verbatim, but I'm gonna. General project setup. Chapter one, exploring user interface. Ribbon, using tabs, using contextual tabs, customizing the ribbon, quick access toolbar, additional user interface features, options bar, properties palette, view control bar, status bar, info center, exchange apps, user interface control, and sometimes those application websites change from time to time. Use the interface control menus and settings, keyboard shortcuts, graphics, context menus, the bottom line, chapter two. View filters and view templates. Understanding view filters, creating view filters, discipline example, filter for wire types, ooh. Visibility settings, shortcut, view templates, the bottom line. Work sets and work sharing, understanding central files, creating a central file, creating a new work set, working with local files, creating a local file. Synchronizing a local file with a central file. Managing and using the power of work sets. I'm not in local one. I'm in local three. I don't know about wrap around out of network health plans, but I'm going to be asking questions. Taking ownership of work sets. Working with model elements in their work sets. Controlling visibility in their work sets. Enhancing communication. Using Revit server, accelerator servers, all sorts of good things. The bottom line, chapter four, project collaboration. Preparing your files for sharing. Working with linked Revit files. Linking Revit files using shared coordinates. Uh, managing Revit links. Controlling visibility of Revit links. Coordinating elements within shared models. Monitoring elements. Responding to change alerts. Reconcile, ho reconciling hosting. Reconciling is a huge thing. And anyone in accounting. Cash or accrual knows all about that. That's what I'm looking for. Now, I'm looking for a woman. I don't want a lawyer, a doctor, or an accountant. And then I've got to hold it to great. I'm tired of going Dutch, man. Or at least I, should, I shouldn't say that. I'd like to go Dutch at this point in my life. Somebody, that, that, when something comes out of their mouth, it's not asinine. I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask for a 52-year-old man with a, with a really bad grill? Oh, very. I know I'm not concentrating. Hold on. I need coffee. Can't all be rigid. I can't be your beast of burden forever. You see what they do to, to us? Anyway, project collaboration. Preparing your files for share. Working with linked Revit files. Linking Revit files, using shared coordinates, managing Revit links. Controlling visibility of river links. I'm going to go off on a tangent. You know how pertinent this is to Facebook? <laughs> Mr. Zuckerberg, would you please tell the members of Congress if you would like the people in the world to know what hotel you are staying in tonight? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> dweeb. <laughs> Coordinating elements with these shared models. Monitoring elements, responding to change alerts, reconcile hosting, maintaining project coordination, working with files from other applications, linking CAD files, 
Importing your Revit file to a CAD format, linking IFC files, uh, using image files in a Revit project, setting options for quality control, using cloud-based solutions, the bottom line. Oh, another thing, I was thinking about this today. If there's any fucking way that any of my kids can be looking at their fucking phone and someone can drag them around and make them type shit, they're not supposed to be doing it as if they're being induced into some type of malicious net of maliciousness for the gain of parasitic uh, use of some organism. And there's not an entity within this contiguous United States that protects them from that. I'm going to be pissed the fuck off, man. I mean, I'm putting my trust in this shit. You know, I can't go out and fucking get an AK-47 and, and go out defending my kids from these fucking things. I can't. I, uh, it's not my job. You better have some. I don't care what the fuck it is. I don't care what frequencies are, flashes, pulses, this, that, magnets, this. I don't care if it's underground, up my fucking asshole. I don't care what it is. Whatever it is, I don't want any hard coming to my fucking kids with something. I can send things over the fucking airwaves. Whatever it is, if it's broke, fix it. I'm tired of worrying about it. The fuck? Call me fucking paranoid. Sometimes I don't even know if my child's even talking to me. I feel like I'm getting some broadcast from some thing that's telling him exactly what to fucking say. Like a ventriloquist. Because one minute, they're fine. And the next minute when I challenge them and I redirect, they come at me like they're fucking rabid dogs. Like I'm cornering something. It doesn't want to be cornered. And it's not my child. It's like the fucking exorcist. You know what I mean? Is anyone getting that, that feeling? Or is it just me? And my kids are getting better, but, you know, I, I get that feeling sometimes. That they're not all themselves. There's something else there. Just like Reagan from the fucking exorcist. Anyway, whatever it is, it better just go. <laughs> That's all. It better go. Don't mind me. I'm recovering from post-traumatic stress disorder. It's been many, many years. Many of us. Don't worry, I'm not going to blame anybody. Most of things are predicate offense, right? Everyone's innocent. All right, so you have know, project collaboration. Controlling the visibility of these links, maintaining the project coordination, and working with files from other applications, linking CAD files, exporting your Revit file to a CAD format, linking IMC files, using image files in the Revit project, setting uh, options for quality control, using cloud-based solutions. I saw some last night. The bottom line, uh, chapter five, multi-platform interoperability, working with 2D and 3D data. We talked about this. 2D data types, microstation, 2D, DGN, draw order, right? Draw order sequencing. DX, it's a Bentley, Bentley product. DXF, right? The native CAD format for interchange. 2D data for standard details. 2D data for plans, sections, and elevations. And one thing about these fucking dentures, I can't whistle. I can't whistle. I used to love to whistle. Anyway, this is a secret. You're not supposed to tell anybody. 2D data for plans, sections, and elevations. 3D data types. Revit project file. Project phasing and design options. Revit family file. ADSK, IFC, we talked about that, and there's, those are important, those are important. I mean, for Christ's sakes, we have a mosque that built and I have an OF in Bayonne. We probably already rented out, prepaid. It's like a prepaid phone card. These children are going to be over in this community, and you have to see half these fucking assholes. You know what I'm here? They're going to be able to spend the money hand over fist. I want a fucking parking. I want a fucking parking. You ever see a light skinned Middle Eastern woman? By the way, fuck retards. I'm not saying I'm partial to dark colored Middle Eastern or the other, but I'm just in some.
if you like or not. Sometimes you don't. I'm not sure he's got nuts. Anyway, I know, I'm going over a tangent again, it's the cough. Autocad DWG, drawings from verticals. SketchUp. Other file formats, chemical crops, the bottom line. These are industry foundation classes. These are students from top of their classes, some of them. And they come over to a culture that they don't even understand, but they've heard great things about it. And supposedly, we advertise that there's freedom here. Now, some folks want them to feel that that's not true. It's all bullshit. And since I, I fight myself over that sometimes, because sometimes, you know, you feel like they're taking it for granted. But that's just kids being kids. Anyone in the know would know what I mean, man. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Well, because a lot of things have happened just the last couple of weeks that uh, have made that point pertinent. Especially with the changing of immigration policies and how we've done things in the past. And you know, all these things that we profess to, I don't want to go on a political pulpit, but we profess to stand up for, sometimes it's starting to sound like it doesn't hold water. Because a, a couple of disenfranchised few want to polarize to the left or the right. Well, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. They're going to run out of money soon. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm, I don't have a fucking blank check. I'm not Taylor Swift. In any event, chapter six, parameters. Understanding parameter basics. And these are, you know, can be very, very complicated. And I know for me, if I, if I go back into an MEP engineering design firm, I'm not, I'm going to have to, I'm going to need to, come here, uh, you're going to have to help me. You know, I'm going to need some, I mean, I could draw. I know the software works, but listen, I'm not fucking Copernicus, for Christ's sakes. I'm not, every, I'm not everything. How many hats do I got to wear? You know, I mean, find a role for me. You see the video. You tell me where I fit in. I'm like that, uh, I'm like the red-headed stepchild. But just don't, just do me a favor. If, if the, the gods from Mount Olympus that move people around chess players, if you put me somewhere, please keep those things, those over bravado, full sense of bravado things, Away, man. Keep them somewhere away. Can't I work with the nerds? I'd rather work with nerds. You know what I mean? Nerds. I'd rather work with nerds. I don't want to see muscle bound tattoos. And, uh, if I want that, I would definitely be a small format of the paint. With an elbow. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm a Bill Lambier fan. In any event, I'd rather work with the nerds. Understanding parameter basics. Choosing the correct parameter. Naming parameters. Using type parameters. Using instance parameters. Setting parameters. Discipline. Type and grouping. That was just an old pass. It's just for something that you don't know. Using parameters in families. Dimensional parameters, hey buddy. Dimensional parameters, lock function. Parameter types. Type catalogs, formula, system parameters. This is complicated shit. You, you see what I just said to you? You hear, what, you hear the words just came out of my mouth? Using parameters and families. Dimensional parameters, lock function. You know what that means? That's not always a good thing. Dimensioned. If you're dimensioned, take a couple letters off the back of that. What do you get? You get dementia. That's a very important thing to understand. You're working within the context of, of this uh, idea of a project in a building made out of material. But we're of it, right? We're of it, and we, in essence, are the whole kick of 
part and parcel. So you have to think along those dynamics and, and try not to have your frontal lobe locked. Because you can read, especially in chapter 8, you can read through one passage, you might as well be slapping your eyeballs back and forth across your fucking head like this, trying to understand exactly what the steps are telling me to do. It's like a ping, this, this software, it's like a very fast ping, ping pong game with your brain and your eyeballs. It's like your right and your left hemisphere and your front, front lobe and your, at least your cerebrum. All play a part in this. How you can center that centroid within your brain. Now, anyone who knows me or read anything about me, have heard rumors about me, they'll tell you, I'm fucking insane, right? But one thing I've been able to ascertain is that environments can polarize people. People can polarize people. I'll polarize the fucking shit out of you. You can come to my class and start playing fucking games with me. In any event, oh, that's Mike. <laughs> Just said something about families. Dimensional parameters, lock function, parameter types, type catalogs, formulas, system parameters, lookup tables. These, these, these young kids, not only just young kids, but older folks, I mean, they, they can write, you name it, there's a formula for it. They can make this software do all sorts of things. And now I'm convinced 100%. If it doesn't want you in its environment, guess what? You ain't, at the, you ain't in the environment. If it, whatever it is, doesn't want you in the model, you're excluded from it. That's a guarantee. But my only, th my only thing is, you know, I see people dead on TV. How come they can't stop that? With all these special environmental sensors and restrictors, buffer zones. For some reason, a lot of people die in delicatessens and gas stations in the ghetto. This came from Brooklyn. That was this close. I'm surprised I made it out alive. Escaped from New York. Escaped from fucking Brooklyn. Anyway, maybe it's the high uh, of in the skyscrapers. Within the perimeters of details, security levels. Again, I'm excluded from that. Any event. I, I'm sorry, this is going long and uh, I'm going off on a tangent and, and I promise I wouldn't. But at least you got a, a look at the, um, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, polish myself up, make myself more presentable for the three year olds, you know, the children that actually like to pay attention in class and not make me say, shut the fuck up and just do your fucking work. Um, anyway, lots of three year olds. Speaking of that, my daughter told me her boyfriend got her his Mustang back today. He almost put her through the windshield twice. I hope third time's not a charm. I don't know if I'll be that happy. Speaking of three-year-olds. Anyway, don't tell him I said that. My daughter might get mad at me for saying it and turn against me. You know, because I'm the crazy one. I'm sorry, I just don't want to see her go through the fucking windshield of a car. Because some fucking wop with a fucking lead foot thinks he's a fucking tough guy. Anyway, I'm sorry. Do I have too much on my mind? I only have seven fucking kids, and Local 3 doesn't like paying me any fucking money to feed them while their Goomba fucking Guido sons run around from fucking gourmet restaurant to gourmet restaurant, traversing the earth like they're fucking Ricardo Muppel fucking barn or something. Holy vey. There's a Spanish Italian mix. Using shared parameters. Using parameters and projects. Project parameters, parameters and schedules. Creating and using parameters and families and schedules. View and sheet parameters. Working with formulas. Sample conditional statements. Rounding the bottom line. Schedules. The family schedules. The fields tab. The filter tab. The sorting grouping tab. The formatting tab. The appearance tab. Editing a schedule, scheduling component, and system family data, mechanical equipment schedule, 
fixture schedules, system family schedules, model component schedules, using schedules for design and analysis, schedule keys, panel schedules, using schedules for project management, sheet list, view list, uh, note plot, I'm getting major league sports is paging. The bottom line, mechanical design, 213, chapter eight, HVAC cooling and heating load analysis, modeling spaces for building load analysis, creating spaces, and this is important, and this is where we're going to be getting into fire protection and uh, thermal properties and materials, um, absorption, reflectance, and illuminance, creating a, a space property schedule, modifying space properties, uh, creating zones, uh, setting building construction options, and we'll also be getting into airflow, heat transfer, things like that, interesting stuff. Uh, Heating and cooling load analysis, load analysis, weather data, outdoor air filtration, uh, sliver spaces, details, heating and cooling loads report, performing conceptual energy analysis in your building, setting up the model, keeping it simple, performing energy simulation, analyzing duct and pipe system pressure, exporting GBXML data to load simulating software, and the bottom line, as with any chapter. Concern for those kids that like you wouldn't fucking believe. Especially Corey and Michael. After that kid on that motorcycle accident by Maris, somebody ran him off the road. Oh, they, 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 let me tell you. I'm hoping it's just an accident. I'm worried. And, and then I hear my son and the other ones that fucking party at the block with that fucking Irish Nick that does all that fucking ball and fucking drinking like a fucking fish, fucking alcoholic. You know, where fucking kids are hanging out in that fucking yard? And God forbid, I'm saying, oh, it's gonna be, I'm hoping there's not gonna be a coke there. Yeah, you worry about yourself. What about myself? What about my fucking kids? How about I worry about them too? Oh, I can't worry about my kids if they go to a party that is gonna be filled with fucking cocaine? You're gonna tell me, don't worry, worry about yourself? It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. I worry about them whether you like it or not. As a matter of fact, with that behavior, I'm going to worry more. And I just hope that there's no coke at these fucking parties. Because I'm telling you, if my kid my gets strung out on it, if they get strung out on it, I'm not going to be fucking happy. I'm not, man. They're not going down that fucking road. Fuck, so come along. You see how I'm trying to fucking work? And I gotta worry about all you pieces of fucking shit. Do you think I need this shit right now? In my fucking life? I got things to do. Not sit in a fucking bar. Talk about everybody. Sell fucking coke. And talk about your fucking glory days. Which weren't that fucking glorious to begin with. So, do us both a favor. Who's ever winning your shot? If you don't like me, you don't like what I say, stay the fuck away from me. If you, and that's not enough, go fuck yourself. How about that? And, and, and if you're feeling froggy and you wanna, you, you wanna take a swing at me, you know what, I don't give a fuck, I'm 51. I'm not in the best shape, I'll defend myself the best I can. It'd be easier to crawl up the fucking police headquarters. It would be easier, right? I got time for that shit. I, I sure as shit. I don't know why you fucking alcoholics and you fucking junk to pimp my fucking kids around town like there's some kind of commodity. Not on my watch, motherfucker. Not on my watch. Maybe I'm not alone. I'm hoping I'm not. Team collaboration? I wish. I wish. I have more questions than I do fucking answers. <clears throat> And I have more concerns about why and when and who and for what particular reason. Lots of this shit just happened to be. So I'm going to try and continue, but I wanted to get that out on camera just so you remember. Because we're creating logical si uh, systems, right? Logical systems. Do I seem logical to you? Am I well within my faculties, or is that? out of the ordinary for someone to behave in such a manner.
And if, if that's uh, your assessment, well, then that's your assessment. Yeah, so yeah, there's lots to do. There's lots to do. You know, heating and cooling load analysis is, is something that, uh, you know, it is something that we can't take lightly. We could blow ahead, Gasky. But let's not intentionally do it, right? We wouldn't want to do that on purpose. You intentionally pick someone, push someone's buttons just to see, to test. I mean, if you want to test me, if you're really curious, come over, take my fucking pulse. Put it. You know, like, like a normal human fucking being would do. In any event, let's not get into that stupid shit. Outdoor air, air, air infiltration, sliver spaces, details, heating and cooling loads report, performing conceptual energy analysis in a building, setting up the model, keeping it simple, performing energy, so you know, analyzing duct and pipe pressure, uh, or system pressure, because I'm rushing. So I gotta catch up to the shit that I gotta get to, because I'm worried about how I'm gonna run back and protect my kids from the slime smog fucking monster. Creating logical systems. Why are systems important? Well, for healthcare reasons. Six degrees of separation. We're all connected, man. In one way, shape, or another, we're all connected. Why are systems important? Managing systems, systems browser, mechanical settings, setting up duct systems, understanding duct connectors, creating mechanical systems, setting up piping systems, understanding piping connectors. Creating piping systems, creating fire protection systems, setting display properties of systems, understanding child and parent relationships in Revit systems. The bottom line, chapter 10, mechanical systems and ductwork, distribution components, mechanical <coughs> equipment components, air conditioning handling units, variable air volume boxes, heating and cooling elements, ductwork, duct types and routing, creating new duct types using automatic duct routing, using manual duct routing, adjusting fittings and extending the design duct sizing, choosing a duct sizing method using the duct routing tools, the bottom line. Mechanical piping, mechanical pipe settings, creating piping systems, creating pipes, uh, pipe types, defining fitting angles, selecting fittings for routing preferences, swatting nets out of your way, choosing pipe materials and sizes, adjusting the pipe sizing table, using the fluids table, Pipe routing options, automatic pipe routing, manual pipe routing, pipe fittings, using pipe fitting controls, placing valves, adding piping insulation, the bottom line. Electrical design. Now this is important. Lighting, efficient lighting design, spacing in the reflected ceiling plane, system and chapel. Lighting work sets, lighting analysis, hosting options for lighting fixtures and devices, lighting fixtures in a ceiling, lighting fixtures in slope ceilings. Ceiling changes, overhead fixtures and, and spaces with no ceiling, wall mounted lights, switches, site lighting, the site plan, site lighting layout, site lighting analysis, the bottom line, power and communications, modeling methods for power and system devices, using annotation symbols, using face, host, uh, face hosted families, avoiding interference of symbols, creating circuits, placing devices and equipment connections, disconnect switches, distribution equipment and transformers, switchboards, panels, other equipment, creating power distribution systems, power diagrams, which I'm looking forward to. Tips for creating power diagrams, looking forward to it. Create a fire alarm system panel, can't wait. DGPs. Fire alarm rises diagram, I had a fire, it's still lit I think. Fire alarm diagram using drafting tools and symbols. Modeling conduit and cable tray, which I think I'm very good at. To be perfectly honest with you, I think I'm relatively good at it in both AutoCAD and, uh, and Reddit. I'm not going to pat myself too hard on the back, but I've seen some abortions. In any event, fire alarm diagram using drafting tools and symbols. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I jumped ahead. Oh, wait, maybe not. Jump behind. Defining electrical settings, placing condo in a model, placing cable train in a model, creating family types, the bottom line, and then circuiting in panels. Establishing electrical settings, wiring settings, voltage definitions, distribution systems, load calculations, creating circuits and wiring for devices and fixtures, editing wiring, editing circuits, drawing wires manually, controlling wire display, managing circuits and panels, circuit properties, wire properties, panel properties, other panels and circuits. 
using schedules for sharing circuit information. Uh, the bottom line, plumbing. Uh, well, everyone's got to plumb eventually, right? It's got to be plumbed square. Chapter 15, plumbing, domestic sanitary. No, this is important, methane gas, right? Got to get it out or explode. Configuring the plumbing views, global settings, and view specific settings, defining systems visibility through filters, working with plumbing fixtures, working with architectural linked in plumbing models, creating custom pipe assemblies, copying and monitoring plumbing fixtures, choosing pipe settings and pipe routing options and sloping pipe, annotating invert elevation and slope, using fittings, using pipe fitting controls, placing valves. The bottom line, um, and then we'll have chapter 16, fire protection. It goes on and on and on. Understanding the essentials of placing fire protection equipment, point of connection, fire pump assembly, fire riser assembly, sprinkler heads, creating a fire protection system. This isn't in here, but foam stations. We're not going to talk about that. See that foam stations just yet. But I'm a sneak. I'm going to do my own research. You know what that is, right? Research. A little research on foaming stations. Like rabid fucking dogs. That foam at the mouth. You know what I mean, man. <laughs> Sprinkler heads, creating fire protection systems, creating fire protection wet system, filtering fire protection systems, and by the way, I designed a main water treatment facility. Filtering fire protection systems, using mechanical joint fittings, using uh, routing piping, <laughs> and adjusting settings. Your body's 98% fucking water. The bottom line, I'm drying out like a leaf. Oh, modeling. And you know how much I love this. <clears throat> and we did this. But I think we're going to do this in the context of MEP. So instead of having extruded buildings and revolved swept cornices and, and moldings and millwork and stuff like that, we're we looking more into a component type assemblies, maybe a pump and more of a, a material or equipment type of the scenario, or scenarios, plural. And I really didn't go through the chapters yet, but if I had the time, you know, I, I don't know how long I can stay here. The rent's really expensive. And I'm not trying to, you know, what's sort of my mother would say, like, cry me a fucking river. <laughs> In any event, I'm not trying to get the sympathy vote. But I, you know, I, I don't have the luxury. I don't have the luxury of doing what I want to do. I like doing this. I conveying it and getting it now. It's therapeutic for me. I'm hoping, you know, some of the horse shit that I had to go through will resonate with anyone. Again, even tangentially. And you don't have to be my friend. You may say, uh, oh no, absolutely not. However, there's a few things I can take from his narrative. I'm not asking to swap spit with you. I'm not asking to marry your daughter. But your wife's not too shabby. In any event, I'm just kidding. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not covet. We went through that, didn't we? That didn't work out too well. I'm not making that mistake again. Solid modeling. So yeah, the solids and voids, extrusions, blends, revolves, sweeps, swept blends, joint geometry, voids, reference planes and lines, constraints and dimensions, visibility control, in place massing, the bottom line. And then again, in the context of MEP, creating symbols and annotations and using drafting tools and rather, drawing arcs, which you know, sometimes get drawn all by themselves, using other drawings, creating filled regions, building a symbol library, gen generic annotations. Subcategories, text and labels, detailed components, controlling, controlling visibility of lines and regions, and annotations. <laughs> Every time I hear the word region, I think of fucking down design group, and I want to go down there and take those two and just shake the shit out of them. The AutoCAD LT horse shit. Give me some time, man. I'll make it more efficient. I don't know, no. Woo! Every time, I, every time I hear that word region, I'll think of that fucking carpet. The ridiculousness. Controlling visibility of lines, regions, and annotations. Want, all right, I'll jerry rig it. Using visibility parameters, using constraints, using labels and tags, label format options, labels and line work. The bottom line. Now, this is going to be interesting. I love doing this in AutoCAD. Again, the parameters are 
dynamic, thermodynamic properties of these components or something that elude me. I don't sit down enough with manufacturers. But I could, if I felt like it, and called them on the phone and asked for the cut sheets, in any event, creating equipment, right? Inventions, right? If you invent something, I know, or this inventor, absolutely no reason why you couldn't protest something with this or 3D printing. But again, we talked about what Schumer said about the other things. Modeling MVP equipment, hosting options, family categories, detail level, geometry for connection points, equipment pads, adding connectors to equipment um, families, duct connectors, pipe connectors, electrical connectors, multiple connectors in families, creating clearance spaces, adding parameters and constraints, creating mobile families from in place. The bottom line, chapter 20, creating life there. Understanding, and it jumps around a little bit, <laughs> lots of times. Understanding types of lighting fixture families, non-hosted or level-based lighting fixtures, face-hosted lighting fixtures, face-hosted families with wall-mounted lights, fixture type based on dimensions, fixtures, fixture types based on fixture performance lighting characteristics, naming conventions, Performing lighting analysis, light source location, light source definitions, light source parameters, using fixture families as intelligent objects. Using parameters. And we all have a little bit of that, don't we? Don't we all have a little bit, or don't we aspire to? And just a little bit? Or is it just one big fucking NESCO event? Oh, man. You know, I... I uh, nothing against professional sports. But the older I get, the more and more it just perturbs me with the false sense of bravado. And, and it, it brings me back to the... Uh, I'm going over the tangent. Mike, you're doing it again. Using fixture families as intelligent objects because they've been thrown on the screen for fucking 51 years of my life. And they profess to be the greatest at this and the greatest at that. And they make me sometimes question why they're on the fucking TV in the first place. There's dignity in this. There's dignity. There's dignity in everything. And I refuse to get dragged down to the level. Whether or not I curse or not, whether or not I got a gutter mouth or not, it matters not. It matters not. Performing writing analysis. Light source definitions. Light source parameters. Using fixture families as intelligent objects, using parameters and connectors representing light fixtures on construction documents in the bottom line. So your primary provider. Or is it your wraparound provider? Or you your local one? I thought that was the elevated division. Maybe it was a typo, or being held in escrow with uh, with my misspelled name on that ADCO security clearance fucking ID. We'll get to the bottom of that too. Hooker Place in Staten Island, Esther Capalon. It's funny. There's an accountant over there in Staten Island on Morningstar Road with the same fucking name, Louis Restrepo. You know, West Coast. <laughs> Louis Restrepo, out of Los Angeles. I'm just going to assume. I'm going to assume all is well for now. <sighs> Until uh, it rears its fucking head. Either it's on a level or it's not. That's how it's... I'm narrowing down... I'm <clears throat> breaking it down to the least common denominator and eliminating all the variables so as to discern whether or not you're all fucking crooks over there. Every one of you. <clears throat> I don't trust any of these. As far as I can fucking throw you. Kitson included. And he's an organizer now. I remember when he's fucking stealing Sony cards out of the direct TV boxes. Anyway, I'll throw these all under the fucking bus. I'll throw these all under the fucking bus. Most of those fucking kids, what I've been through, I don't care what fucking suit you wear. You think I'm afraid of you fucking goombas? Shanty Irish fucking Russian fucking retards. <clears throat> I don't care. I don't care. It's 
scroll down to get to know me. <laughs> anyway, we got a lot to talk about. Careful what you fucking organize. Anyway, as I was saying, getting connectors. Representing light fixtures on construction documents and bottom line. Creating devices, modeling device geometry, category and parameters, geometry and reference planes, using annotations for devices, adding parameters and connectors, using parameters for labels, adding connectors, the bottom line. Chapter 22, details. The devil is in the details. Drafting and detailing tools, line styles, regions, detail components. Would you be willing to kill me to silence me? <clears throat> CAD details, using drafting views, converting details, strategies for creating a detail library, inserting 2D elements, inserting views, model detail views, plan callouts, section callouts, and again, the, the bottom line. <clears throat> Chapter 23. Did you guys, does anybody know about this, by the way? Anyone within the earshot know anything about this thing here? Anybody? Anyway, it's a whole other story. Chapter 23, sheets. Two sheets to the wind. Creating a title block using existing CAD graphics. So hopefully this tape's still running or I'm making a total asshole out of myself. Let me double check or I'm shit out of luck, right? Are we still good? Yeah, it's only been an hour. It seems like it's been a lot longer than that. Anyway. Yeah, it seems like it's been a lot longer than that. But this is a, a few pages in here. This is going to take a whole bunch of time. It's going to take a lot of money. And actually, not a lot of money. I, I just coffee. I Chef Boy RD. Vitamins. Take my medication. Pretty good. Play some basketball. Uh, yeah, yeah. CAD details by raw sheets. Create entire block using existing CAD graphics, using text and labels, using logos and images. Working with sheets in the project, organizing project browser sheets, placing views on sheets, working with viewports. Uh, adding annotations, placing schedules, using sheet lists. Now, on your charts, as you can determine my past performance versus this performance, as you're checking all these things off, say to yourselves, what has changed in you due to the current environment? Now that you're ascertaining the differences in my behaviors from when I made my first series of videos, so this videos I'm making now, and ascertaining how much better or worse I've become psychologically, what I'd like you two to ask yourselves collectively as a whole, what have you two done, and then subsequently following down the factor tree, to, uh, as a collective body, better yourselves as an organization, or, you know, a bunch of fucking assholes that are hiding behind a studio wall, uh, you know, keep a bunch of secrets to yourself and whispering. <laughs> what have you done to help, you know, in this situation? So before you fill out all those check boxes, check boxes on your assessments, I'd like you to turn the mirror inward for a second because I don't get to see you on the other side of the screen analyzing your behavior. Because I'll do it when I see you. But you know, I won't do it like this. Anyone who's met me in the street knows I don't do it this way. In any event, please direct. I'm sorry. Working with sheets in a project, using text and labels, using logos and images, organizing project browser sheets, placing views on sheets, working with viewports and adding annotations and placing schedules. And Jesus, the courts are going to open up soon. Using sheet lists, making sheet revisions, printing sheets, exporting sheets, the bottom line. The bottom line is, I'm going to be really glued to the newspaper. It's going to be so interesting when the government finally does open up those fucking doors. So City Hall and Superior Court opens up and Civil Court opens up and Bankruptcy Court opens up and probate, fuck, and all this, all these courts open up. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fucking fiasco. It's going to be so interesting. And yet, I don't know what the other half is doing. I don't know if they're shaking their fucking boots over all this. Uh, if the foreign investors are hemorrhaging cash. I can only ask what I see in here. 
It just seems like I said, to me, it just seems like a short sale. One big short sale, for lack of a better term. And a fire sale, all at once. And, um, what's that, a forwardy song? And when the tax man comes to the door, the house looked like a rummy cell. Kind of like that, to a certain extent. Anyway, bait and switch, I don't know. It just seems, it's right, it's just, for me, this has been one of the most sensational times in history. And I'm 52. I've seen a lot of history. I've never seen nothing like this shit. This is unprecedented as far as I'm concerned. Maybe back in 1918, during the fucking, you know, the plagues and all that. And uh, but I'm telling you, this is something that uh, goes well beyond what I've ever expected to see. Anyway, we're running out of gas. Specifying fabrication settings. Fabrication is going to be interesting. And they make modules for this program that are supposed to work well. Um, creating a fabrication layout, editing a fabrication layout, um, whether or not that means lying about something and then covering it up. The bottom line, uh, creating a project template, understanding templates, and we all have fucking skeletons, right? We all have skeletons. I don't know who's get dragged out and fucking thrown on stage first. But uh, I'm guilty of everything. I did it. Everything. You got me. Specifying fabrication settings. But I don't fucking push fucking illegal substances, substances through the fucking ecosystem. Specifying fabrication staff settings. Placing fabrication parts. Creating a fabrication layout. Editing a fabrication layout. The bottom line. Creating a project template, understanding templates, determining the number and types of views needed, setting the number of levels, working with plan types, creating a working view, choosing display settings for views, visibility settings for template views, schedule views, establishing project um, settings, object styles, drafting line settings, export settings, uh, I was just thinking about my daughter, annotation styles, oh she's alright, project units, project phases, Defining preloaded content and its behavior, annotation families, component families, system families, MEP settings, creating sheet standards, title blocks, defining sheets, understanding the project browser organization, discipline grouping, sorting views within groups, sheet organization, bottom line, the appendix. All right, so, yeah, uh, it summarizes pretty much uh, everything that we uh, are going to to the best of my ability, I got to run around and check on the kids and see if they're doing okay. Their stimulus ran out. Their landlord's throwing them out. They got fleas. Uh, they work on minimum wage. They argue a lot. There's four of them in a small apartment. I don't make enough money to pay for two apartments. If they came here, don't know how much of this I'd get done. They're, uh, they don't listen to me very much. I have no authority over them. Uh, your guess is as good as mine on why. Sometimes I think they're, like I said, ventriloquist tell me. He's like, I fucking thought it was a Muppet show. So I guess I'll end it there on that uh, note. I'm sorry if I uh, vented, but like I said, I've been playing Flicker all week. And, uh, yeah, when, you, when your daughter works in the capacity that mine does, and there's a possibility for danger, then you get nervous. You know, she's not surrounded by the Secret Service, you know, fucking packing heat you know, with earwigs in their fucking ear. You know, she's out in the field, you know, where it can be dangerous. We don't have that luxury. Yet she means just as much to me as anybody's first daughter would to them.